I think the ongoing evolution of human consciousness is the ongoing ability of the brain to process greater amounts of information. With our relationship with technology now, we're literally stretching the amount of information that our brains can process at any given time. We live in the age of multitasking. We live in the age of watching TV while you text, while you're on Facebook, while you tweet, while you're watching a video on YouTube, all at the same time. In fact, I like to say, if you don't have ADD today, you're not paying attention. We are overextending our attention faculties and it's causing a kind of bandwidth anxiety. We just don't have the RAM for the amount of open apps that we have open. We need to come up with techniques and ways to engage with this multiplicity of options while still retaining an attentional focus that allows us to function. The evolution of human is to transcend our boundaries. Human beings didn't stay in the caves, they didn't stay in the planet, they haven't stayed with the limits of their biology. I think that human beings dovetail their minds to their tools. And when those tools start dovetailing back, then the line between user and tool becomes flimsy and real. I think the brain is an energy saving system, sort of decides what's the useful information and then everything else you can delete. The brain has a mental map, an internal model of the world that it has to interface with. And so if I take the same route to work every day, if I'm always sitting in the same office, I could go with my eyes closed and pretty much get there because it's already inside. Therefore, I'm not noticing anything. But when you change something in the world, then your brain notices. The brain is primed to notice the new, the difference, and biologically selected to notice the new. But if we know that, if we know that our brain is awakened by the new, then if we want to play with what we focus on, what we don't focus on, what gets edited out, that we can take active steps to, to, to perform a metacognitive hack on our own brains and force ourselves to notice what we never noticed before.